All right, y'all, so in this one, we're going to be talking about something huge. This is going to be focused around the YouTube algorithm and how I feel it's going to be changing in 2025 based on what we've already seen this year and how YouTube has really been progressing this entire time. We're already seeing things happen now that lets us know what they care about, what metrics they're looking at, what is actually going to allow your channel to be successful and your content to flourish moving into the new YouTube coming in 2025. We all know the uh, the algorithm updates like every couple of months and there's always opportunities. I want you all to be able to identify those opportunities and be prepared to take advantage for it. So take advantage of it. So that's why I'm making this video to kind of explain it to you all. I will, you know, shameless plug of my course right now. Um, if you want to deep dive into a channel, bigger channels and things like that, where I actually go through how I built my channels to hundreds of thousands of subscribers, tens of millions, a billion plus views. Um, yeah, I, I have a course on all of that. I also do one-on-one um, -on -one coaching. So that being said, let's jump into the juicy stuff because I have about seven points that I wrote out for you all to kind of explain where I believe it's heading to and why I actually believe it's heading there. So that being said, let's start off with the viewer intent. Viewer intent is gonna be a big deal with YouTube moving into the future. Um, and and the, how, how happy they are with the content that you're actually dropping and releasing. Because I think that, you know, for, for the longest time, clickbait has just, has just it's, been, it's been a thing. But I think that with the rise of AI, you know, it's, things are starting to become more intelligent. We're starting to see what people like, what people don't like. Like YouTube is, being, is starting to be able to analyze things a lot better than they ever have at any point. So I believe they're gonna be a lot more accurate with how they reward people. And that's why you see things like Mr. Beast, Kai Sinat, you see people like this um, really getting the bulk of the viewership. Like Kai Sinat, your I show speeds, stuff people genuinely like gets rewarded as opposed to stuff where you, it's more of a clickbait title and people don't really like the actual value that's, that's being presented in the um, in the content. So yeah, that's what I think is gonna be big. Um, YouTube is gonna be moving away from just watch time and focusing, um, and they're gonna be focusing heavily on the viewer satisfaction and intent. Um, now, in terms of the satisfaction and intent, I think that the algorithm is gonna actually be analyzing things based on the likes, dislikes, and you know how they do those little surveys asking you, yo, did you really like this video or did you, did you, what did you think of this video? Did it meet your set, your, your expectations, blah, blah, blah. I think that they're going to take that information a lot, ser a lot more seriously and videos are going to start being judged based on that. So we, we're in a time right now where if you get a million dislikes on a video, that's still gonna get shared because it's engaging. But I think YouTube is gonna be more so geared towards the right engagement where if you get a bunch of dislikes on your video, it probably is going to stop being shared as much as a video getting, because for every video getting a ton of dislikes, there's a video getting way more likes. So why wouldn't YouTube push that? Because people are giving that video a better response. So yeah, I, I believe that it's going to be more so based around um, that in the future where Clickbaiting is going to start becoming a lot more obsolete, which I am big on clickbait. I have been big on clickbait historically. Now, as you all will see, if you actually do check out my course, I have grown outside of clickbait, but clickbait has just been so easy over these last, you know, over the last however many years that I've adopt, I've, you know, I've thrown that in, I've sprinkled that in a lot more these days because it's just the easiest thing to do. But you actually, it is a skill. You actually do need to know the skill of making good content. But um, also, what I think is also gonna be coming is AI-driven uh, personal, personalizations will expand. Um, and basically what I mean is predicting content that the viewers want based on the um, context. So, that being said, YouTube's AI is actually becoming really, really OP. <laughs> it's good at predicting what the viewers want to see. So they're gonna be looking at key indicators and, and looking at what you watch, look, look at the type of videos you watch, look at what you click on and kind of analyzing what you expect to see after you click on something. And I think that that's what's going to allow YouTube's algorithm to feed you the perfect thing. So it's essentially just going, content is going to be personalized to people, which means that you're gonna be rewarded and if you wanna keep your videos relevant, you're gonna be rewarded for actually making good content. 
I think, and, and good content is subjective. It doesn't mean that you have to edit like Mr. Beast, but it does mean that if you are titling something like like a video, videos like mine, how to grow on YouTube. It actually has to be advice that's gonna help people grow on YouTube. You can't just say things and, and it doesn't satisfy anyone and stuff like that. No, it's like YouTube's algorithm is gonna change in a way where, you know, you have to actually bring the value or your video is going to be punished for it. And those videos that actually bring the value, I believe that they're gonna be rewarded. So, yeah. And obviously with this same line of, you know, same line of conversation we're going down, another key point that I have here is it's gonna be quality over quantity. I think that's something that's gonna change because right now you can still kind of sneak in a lot of, you can sneak in a lot of uh, quantity because I, I'm more of, I'm more so of a quantity based content creator myself. I don't do a lot of editing. I don't do a lot of, my, my videos are just me. I bring, the value in my videos is me. So I take the time to be real analytical and thoughtful with the things that I'm speaking about and the, the value that I'm bringing. That way I can cut out the need for editing because what I'm saying is just that valuable to the people. Um, so yeah, qu quality over quantity is going to be a very, very big deal. Um, obviously based on them analyzing, uh, like I said, the AI analyzing these markers that's going to tell them if you like the, if you like the video, if you dislike the video and, and really taking that stuff a lot more seriously. Um, you're going to want to make sure you, you are releasing the best content possible. Um, even if it's just making sure your information is right when you're saying it, making sure you're saying the right things. Oh, and, and so it doesn't have to be, oh, I took 10 days just to edit this masterpiece. No, it could be. I spent 10 hours studying, making sure that my information was the best, researching, making sure nothing that I'm saying is wrong, everything is up to date. And then I, pres I just present it by talking and tell you all what I know. And boom, as, as long as that is solid, that's a high quality video. It's, it still doesn't require, you know, the, the best editor or anything like that. It just requires you actually putting in a little bit more effort than you may put into your videos right now. So yeah. Also, moving into um, moving into 2025, I think something that's also gonna be key is the um, short and long form integration. So, YouTube will integrate shorts, live streams, and long form content more e effectively. I think that they're trying to kind of mesh things together where it's not, you got some shorts channels, you got some long form channels, and you got some, some channels that just stream only. Like a lot of content creators just separate all of their content right now. They don't house it all together. What I think moving into the future, we're going to see a lot more channels doing it all and actually making sure everything works together. So even the community tab, you know, the community tab that's not really used too much right now. I think that the community tab is going to be used as a way to kind of, you know, get people excited. Yo, Monday's video is coming. Are you all excited? Um, stuff like that. And then you're going to be able to basically get people pumped up using the community tab. They're going to be able to get teased using short form content and then they're going to be able to watch the full thing in a long form in a long form matter then you can talk to them about it you can you can live stream like so kind of live stream talk about it see how people feel and see what else people want to see and stuff like that i think that you'll be rewarded based on seamlessly integrating all that youtube has to offer on your channel and you're you can already see this backed up by some channels starting to do this and 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 you know Really, because YouTube, what well, YouTube does, YouTube doesn't want you on TikTok and, and on Facebook and on YouTube wants you really maximizing your time on, on YouTube and you helping other people stay on YouTube longer. YouTube wants to be the only one. They don't want to coexist with these other social media platforms. So people perfectly meshing all of YouTube's, um, all of, all of what YouTube has to offer together and, you know, using it to its, its maximum um possible uh ma maximum using it that using it to the max anyone using it to the max i feel like you're going to have an advantage moving into um yeah moving into the future so yeah definitely short and long form content syncing with live streams and a community tab and all of that man i think that's going to be very very important um then um i mean last but not least um we i think that they're going to be talking about um they're going to the tweaks of the algorithm is going to kind of change more so toward basically all of this is to say authenticity is coming back to YouTube. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Authenticity is coming back to YouTube. What I mean by this is based on the metrics, based on what content people like and things like this, 
if you're a fraud, if you're not really, you know, you're not really doing the things that you say, if you're not really, if you're not really about that life, you're going to get more likes. People are going to start seeing through it. And the, the, the indicators will be there signaling to YouTube that this is not a channel that people are really resonating with because it's not what it's advertising itself as. The clickbait won't be enough to get channels by moving into the future. So I think that the algorithm is kind of geared more so towards authentic people really being themselves. That's why you see YouTubers like DoDash coming up and she's grew very successful because she's not coming out pretending to be some type of guru or something. Um, she's just coming out being herself. Like she's a hardworking woman. She got tired of working. She, she popping on YouTube and she's making all this YouTube money and she's super excited and happy and just speaking from the heart to people. And it's working. And I know it doesn't, um, you know, have everything else that I've talked about, but like I said, she's not a YouTube expert. She's literally just a person on YouTube being herself. And that's a, that's a signal right there that this is starting to happen before your eyes. There's so much evidence across YouTube of this starting to happen, but there we have it. I just wanted to give you all this video and explain to you all how I'm seeing things, how I'm looking at things right now. Let me know how you feel about it. Let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.